Hello and welcome to another Streamline tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of troubleshooting. So to begin with, like always, whenever you are on this screen, the first thing to do is click on the task cleaner. That's going to end any tasks that are currently running in the background. So once you've done anything on the box, if you hit the task cleaner, it's going to make sure that everything is closed out of the background so that your box is running at its optimum. So the first thing we want to look at is the biggest question that we get. So the date and time are incorrect, either on the main screen on the top left hand corner, as you can see, it's Thursday, kiss 25th. The second place that you can see the date and time uh, that are sometimes incorrect will be in pack loader. So if you click on the pack loader and you see the server version is currently 2016, August 13th. So if this says 2015, you are not connected to the internet. That's, I mean, that's that simple. If this is incorrect, you are not connected to the internet. If the time and date up on the main page are incorrect, you are not connected to the internet. So whether you're plugged in uh, like I am, you can see on the top right hand corner, there's two computers. That means that I'm currently using ethernet. If I was using Wi-Fi, it would show the Wi-Fi symbol. If that shows that it's connected, but your date and time are not correct, then it could be your router. So if you've recently replaced your router uh, through your ISP and there was a firewall setting that uh, came up and that was set too high, that can block not only your Streamline box, it can also block Xbox Live, it can block the PlayStation Network, it can block many, many things, and that's actually a common problem, is people will set their firewall settings way too high, and it'll block pretty much everything from happening. The, uh, the best internet security is to stay off the internet, and that's what will happen if you set those settings too high. So how do we check the internet connection? Go over to settings, and go to network, once you get in here, you can see if you're connected. So you can see that I'm currently connected to Ethernet and there's my IP address. Um, if that is showing that I'm all connected and everything is good here, then what you would want to do is actually power off your Streamline box. Go ahead and uh, turn off the power to your router or simply unplug the power for it. And by the way, to turn off the Streamline box, you want to use the power button on the remote control Hold that down for a few seconds and you'll start seeing a little flashing thing telling you if you want to or asking you if you'd like to turn off the box, then you hit OK twice. Um, so after you've got the router turned off and you've got or unplugged and you have your streamline box turned off, you go ahead and leave those off for about a minute, then plug the router back in. After about a minute or two with the router, once all of all the lights are back to green or orange or whatever they're supposed to be, everything says that you're connected, then you can go ahead and test on a computer, see if that's up and running, and go ahead and turn your Streamline box back on and see if the date and time update. Sometimes that will take up to a minute for it to reconnect and be all back up to date. So moving right along, if you have the uh, date and time correct, go ahead and hit the task cleaner and take a look at uh, your settings. Let's make sure that you're all set up with the correct display settings so you can see everything in the top left and you can see the, the date and time. If you cannot see everything correctly, if you go to screen position here and then you zoom in or zoom out. So if I were to zoom out, zoom in, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring this way down here. So you can see the uh, current scaling is 80%. Uh, due to the fact that this is a recording that I'm making here, you may not actually see any difference on the screen, uh, but I'm seeing a difference on the TV as I'm going in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. That's how you do that. And screen resolution is a big one. Make sure that uh, if your TV is a 1080p, make sure it's set to 1080p. Uh, if it is showing 720, like you can see mine is here, uh, but it's a 1080 TV, then what you want to do is actually turn the auto switch to best resolution to off 
which is, you can see I have it set to off right now. And then you would simply select 1080p 60 hertz. Always make sure that whatever selection you do, it's 60 hertz because that's the US standard is 60 hertz. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back out of here. My TV is supposed to be set at uh, 720 because this is the video recording machine. So now we're going to check the pack loader. So you can find the pack loader in my apps. And then you can scroll down. Uh, first, I want you to notice up here at the top, there's uh, one called app loader. If you do not have the app loader, you're going to want to get that installed and I'll show you how. The next thing that you're going to notice is Cody does have the streamline uh, icon. So make sure that yours does as well. If it does not, again, you're going to want to do what I'm going to show you right now. And as you can see, I scrolled down and there's the pack loader. So the first thing that we're going to want to do if you do not have the current version is you are going to want to update the pack loader. When you click on update pack loader, this is going to ask if you're sure. Of course, you want to say yes. And then it's going to download. It's going to ask you if you want to continue. Say yes. And then it's going to ask you if you want to install it. Again, you're going to say yes. If at any point you get anything that asks you if you would like to allow super user access, you want to select always remember this choice and then give it super user access. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and open the app loader, which was that first one that I showed you. And the only ones that really matter are the first two, unless you're specifically told by support to do the uh, support update and the core support update. Uh, generally, you don't really need to do those unless you've had your box for a while and you want to get those up to date. If you are on the LT2, you do not need to update the core support uh, or the regular support update. You do not need those. You've already got them. Uh, anybody that does not have the, uh, the versions that I was showing you on the previous screen, make sure that you do those first two. Hit install and tell it yes a few times and you'll be up to date. As soon as you've done that, it's automatically going to put you back into the pack loader. Uh, and then it's going to ask you if you would like to do the standard pack or the extended pack. The standard pack is no adult content. The extended pack includes adult content. So you'll go ahead and hit that and then hit OK. It's going to exit and then it's going to open itself back up. You do not need to do that. It will open itself back up. Uh, the bottom right hand side you can see here remove partial download and start over. That is going to remove any partial download. So if you were uh, trying to install a pack and there was an error and you need to redo it, that's what that button is going to do. That's going to make sure that if there was any errors in any downloads to wipe out those partial downloads so that you can get a fresh one, just do it. So it's if you think that you may have had a problem, just click on that. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, clear all data and cache. What that does is if you look at the top here, your version and the server version, you can see the version numbers are actually the date that that version came out. So it's 2016, August 13th. So you can see my version and the server version are identical. So I'm already up to date. If I wanted to wipe out my version, so if I was having problems with the, uh, uh, the movie section, the media center there, uh, things weren't working right, I'm getting constant buffering, I'm getting errors, you know, anything like that, then you'll want to go ahead and clear all data and cache before you install the new pack. And yes, even if you're on the current version, if there was a problem with your download or if somebody tampered with some of the settings or anything like that, if you were in there playing around, it's not a big deal. You can always clear all data and cache and get back to the factory install. So don't be afraid to mess around in the media center. So after you've done that, you'll notice that your version will go back to zero, which means you do not have a version. There's no pack installed. So at that point, you'll want to go ahead and hit that install pack and it will download the pack. After the download is complete, the first time it will have that question that I was talking about, would you like to allow super user access? And 
Anytime that you see that with the pack loader, you are go going to want to allow that because that means that the pack loader will have access to be able to install the pack. So you definitely want the pack loader to have that access. So you're just going to tell it to uh, always remember that choice and then tell it to allow. So that's it. After you've installed the pack, it should take about maybe 30 seconds to two minutes tops for it to download the pack. And then the counter will start over and it will install the pack. The install process can take a, a couple of minutes as well. But the most important thing is the download. If your download takes longer than two minutes, you're having internet connection issues or your speed is just too slow and you need to contact your ISP and get that updated uh, or upgraded. Uh, or maybe you're connected to Wi-Fi and the signal is just too weak. So you may need to get a newer, better, stronger router or if you can, we always recommend it uh, for using the uh, Ethernet connection. Remember, Ethernet can be up to 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. Ethernet is so much better. As you can see up in the top right-hand corner, that's what I'm using. So now we're back here at the main screen. So I'm going to hit the task cleaner again. Anytime that I see that button, I always click it. It just makes things so much better. So hopefully that will take care of any problems that you may have been having. Uh, if you have any other problems, always remember that we have how-to videos right here. We recommend watching them from your computer so that you can follow along with them. Uh, if you go to our website, just go to StreamlineTV.com, which you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, it says Streamline TV right there on your screen. So just go to StreamlineTV.com and click on how to and that will take you to the how to videos uh, there's some really nice videos on there especially if you go down to the uh, how to find what you're looking for videos so you can see here uh, the first one is the getting started video which you should have already seen and underneath that is how to use the pack loader and then how to find movies and TV shows these videos right here are so crucial for basic use they will show you how to do pretty much everything so we highly recommend watching these videos and all you have to do is you can actually just go directly here on your computer you can go to streamlinetv.com forward slash basic dash use and that'll bring you to these videos here the best one is definitely how to find tv shows how to find movies and how to find tv shows are a little bit different but uh, the best one for just uh, getting started is the how to find TV shows because it gives you really good examples on how stuff works. So that's pretty much it. I hope that that helps. If you're still having problems, definitely contact us. You can go to StreamlineTV.com and click on Support. And then click on the Contact Us button here. and just fill out this contact form and someone will get back to you very quickly. Uh, you can also contact us on the phone numbers listed on the site. You can also contact us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash streamline TV, or you can click on the button down at the bottom of our website. We also have a YouTube channel with all of those videos and that's just youtube.com forward slash streamline TV. That's it. Happy streamlining.